as you play with these parameters, as you animate things around, this is how you go on and, and create these, these effects. And now comes kind of the fun part. How do we export that out so we can bring it into Das Studio? Let me go and say something like you know, frame 100, frame, frame 80, like right here. Maybe this is the kind of shape that we want to export. Or maybe something before that, like this. Here. That's kind of frame 60. Let's go and export that now. That happens on this other node here, under the volume node. A bit like in R3DS Wrap, <laughs> you go and save our file directly from the node. So where it says VDB, left click and drag off this, and then you just select this one here, export VDB. And with this node, you can now go give it a file path, and you have some options here on the bottom, and you also have some control. So we'll look at that uh, in a moment. Right now, I'm just gonna go and select this and say my file path. I'll go and put this on my desktop somewhere. Actually, I've got a folder called Volumetrics Ember Gen. I'll just put it into the top node here and I'll, I'll call it Puff V1. So in Puff, I'm going to give it a file name. I'll just call it Puff V1 hyphen and hit save. So that hasn't quite exported the file yet because I also need to give it the first frame, the number of frames and the frame stride. So this is like every every one frame, you could skip frames, like two would be every other frame, three would be every third frame and so forth. The first frame, is going to be frame 64 and the number of frames is just going to be one because I just want to have this this one VDB that I'm going to export here and that's really all I need to do and hit export now and then that should be that you'd think but that's not quite the case so you have to also under controls you have to enable what properties your VDB is supposed to contain. And we have some other options here, like the coordinate system. It's by default, it says Z up right-handed, but in Das Studio, we have it, we have Y up. So I can change that here and say Y up right-handed. I'm not entirely sure what the difference between left-handed and right-handed is, but right-handed seems to work fine. If I didn't do that, I'd have to go and turn my VDB volume inside Das Studio around by minus 90. And I might as well use Y up, but if you're using any of the default VDBs that you get from their website here, under here, downloads free VDB examples, they're all exported with Z up right handed. So you're going to have to go and turn this by minus 90 degrees so that this doesn't lie flat on the side here in Das Studio. The more important bit here is that currently we're exporting the density but nothing else. So I don't know exactly which thing Das Studio is looking at, but I'm going to go and tick all of these things. If you don't, then nothing might show up in Das Studio. I had that before as well. I don't know which exact one, if it's fuel or flames or velocity or temperature, is the thing that actually makes the fog show up in Das Studio, but the, the defaults aren't showing up anything. So just thought I'd let you know. Compression is just something that keeps your file smaller, and that is that. Under export, I can now go and export now. Ding, we've, we've done it. There we go, that is it exported. Okay, let's go back into the DAS Studio and see if we can make this thing show up. Let me go and create myself a new primitive here. I'll make it a cube, but it could also be anything I like. I'm gonna go over with the geometry editor and immediately go and rename my surface of the cube into from default into volume just so that in case my volume is larger than my cube then you know there's, there's no issues here i'll switch back to the universal manipulator head over to the surfaces tab with my volume surface selected i'll head over to presets shaders ira effect double click on open vdb mdl volume everything turns a little bit transparent and under volume under volume file under my on my desktop under volumetrics there's puff v1 and that is that file that we've just made in embergen so let's bring that in nothing happens let's go and switch this over to ira and see if if something did happen oh yeah don't see anything that's because the density multiplier is still a bit low let's set it to 100 and see yes look at that little cloud is there and it fits right into our bounding box so i don't need to Actually, it's, is it a bit cut off at the top? I can't tell. I'm going to go and switch this off. Clip to geometry, just in case. There we go. Little cloud, homemade VDB, self-made VDB in Embergen and rendered in Das Studio. Isn't that nice? <laughs>